Welcome to another episode of Business Beat with me, Odette. So what are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and all things nice? Are they fragile like a flower or fragile like a bomb? Who said like a girl? And who said girls can do? Well, what can girls do? Let's find out. Ladies, welcome Girl Code, a volunteer organization, a training and development program that supports this organization, and it is all to do with girls. Talk to us. Girl Code is a nonprofit organization um, that aims to empower young girls and women through technology. And how we go about achieving this is by teaching coding and robotic skills to girls and women of different ages. It sounds so next century stuff. Where does this fit in in today's organization? Wonderman Thompson are sponsoring and have adopted this particular program. Companies like Wonderman Thompson are starting to realize that coding and robotics and those sorts of skills are not necessarily that far into the future, it's the here and now. And I think, you know, as part of, you know, our move towards the fourth industrial revolution and things like, um, you know, digital transformation, we're starting to realize that there is more and more a need for an understanding of what these skills are and to equip people to come into workplaces where they're going to be using these skills for jobs that don't even necessarily exist yet, but will in the very near future. And it's important for us to, to do our part to bring these skills into our industries like the marketing and communications industry and come along for that journey as well. So I read an article recently that spoke about the demand for women in technology and now you're talking about coding and robotics all of which reside in the realm of technology. If this is a male dominated space does this mean that there has to be a concerted effort to attracting young girls into this space and helping them develop skills that can feed this technology sector where women are so lacking. Young girls need women who look just like them to look up to because I just feel like you resonate better with people who look just like you. So yes, now more than ever it is very important to have um, women and, and young girls come into the tech space and pave the way for other women in the mm -hmm. tech space. And I think it's great to partner with corporates um, who have women who are in that space, who are um, paving the way for young girls mm -hmm. and making the ICT space a much better place for girls who are coming up. It's things that feel like they're so far in the future, but it's realizing that it's here and now we can build, build these skills and we can you know, move into the future yes. with these skills and build new careers as well. So are you saying that you are prepping young girls to enter into the world of the behind the manufacturing of these incredible things that have become part and parcel of our everyday life? That is exactly what we're saying. We do need a very inclusive economy mm -hmm. and we do need to build technology that is for both males and females and we do need females in order to ensure that that technology caters for both males um, and females. Especially now with artificial intelligence coming into play, mm. the algorithms that are being built, we need women to you know, better build those because only women understand women. Yes. You can't necessarily have a man build technology yes. um, to better the lives of women. women yes. Yes. Mm. What kind of work would a girl lady, woman, do if they had some kind of qualification and let's talk about what those qualifications are and what career opportunities are there today for people who want to get into robotics or coding. Having these sorts of skills opens up quite a broad um, opportunity space for, for young women that are entering okay. into this field. Um, for us quite practically, you know, as Wonderman Thompson, we've seen that as much as we think of coding and robotics as a separate thing altogether or a separate skill or a separate industry, we've seen more and more there's been all of these separate skills converge and come together to align with things like traditional advertising, marketing communications, to really support the sort of work that we do for our clients as well. It's really about understanding that there's a big push towards integration of these sorts of things and everything works together. In South Africa we have a very low pass rate in schools, 30%. Do you not need super, super great marks, grades from your school to be able to qualify for such a program? The maths and science is very important, but the other thing that's very important is for us to upskill our kids at a very young age. 
which is why at Girl Code we do have programs where we cater for young girls and boys from as little as um, nine years old because we do believe that it's very vital for us to get um, young girls playing with technology at a very young age so they can understand that technology is their friend and it's something that they can basically um, use to better their lives and they shouldn't be afraid of it regardless of um, their marks. And the other thing is that there are a lot of self-taught um, coders mm. um, in the industry who weren't necessarily brilliant in school, who actually misunderstood. So what work are you doing partnering with schools so that schools understand the new way, the new skill sets that are required for the workplace. We actually approach the schools and let them know that here we are, um, we're here to, to, to upskill your learners with this critical skill that they need because they're becoming more receptive, especially because they don't have the time or the skills um, to actually provide their learners with mm -hmm. these um, coding skills that they okay. so much more need. So we as an organization have taken it upon ourselves then to go out to these schools and actually approach the schools and partner with them and teach their various grades coding and robotics so that they are not left behind with this technological advancement that we're mm. currently facing. What about entrepreneurship? I'm very big on entrepreneurship. I think the future of South Africa lies in entrepreneurship. What opportunities for entrepreneurship for a person who cannot find a job but who has these skills are there? Inside. Well, entrepreneurship is actually an easy one, um, especially if you know how to code. There's so many things that you can build. You can build your own website, your own e-commerce, online shopping platform, and basically um, sell things. You can even build websites for other organizations and charge them. Now you're talking. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So with coding, it's, it's a skill that can allow you to do so much without necessarily having to go into corporate. It, right. Yeah, so there's definitely lots of opportunities to be an entrepreneur. That's gold to my ears. So what you're saying is, Girl Code takes kids from the age of nine, if I'm hearing all of this correctly, over weekends. And then you teach them that not only are they capable, but there is a whole new world of opportunity open to them. And is this program available nationally? I know you have a boot camp. Yes, the programs are um, available nationally. Um, so yes, uh, we have a three month online boot camp where um, we take unemployed graduates and upskill them with the relevant skills that corporates are looking for. So the aim of this program is for us to basically um, face the or challenge the very high unemployment rate in South Africa. But also awesome. we've realized that in varsity, um, you don't necessarily learn the skills that, you know, corporates like Wonderman Thompson yes. are actually looking for. Yes. But you have the qualification. Academically, you've got all the yes. knowledge, but practical but the skills, skills yeah. yeah, nothing. Yeah. So we come in and bridge that gap. And then after upskilling you, then partner with corporates and actually place you in the corporates because awesome. now you have the skills that they're looking for along with the qualification as well. This is awesome because what you're saying to me is that if you are unemployed as a graduate, there's hope. You don't even have to absolutely. go anywhere. Are these courses, are there, is there a cost for it? No, all of it's our free? courses at Girl Code are absolutely free. Oh wow, so you just go to girlcode.co.za, register, 100%. take a course, upskill yourself and then plug into the network to get yourself employed. Exactly, all you need to do is apply yourself and obviously, you know, give it your all. Um, the coding space isn't an easy one. Of course. But it's definitely possible. And once you get it, you know, the sky is the limit. Imagine the possibilities with coding, with robotics, with technology. I know that this scares a lot of us, but it also is the way of the future. If you don't already know, there is a space for those square pegs in a round hole. Until next time.